by e-commerce website project. This project is based on the React in the front end, uh, Node.js in the back end, as well as MongoDB and uh, AWS S3 for the database storage. So let's start it and see what is going on. Uh, so first is that it performs the uh, user management as well as the uh, sign up and sign functions. So if we do not have account, we can do the sign up here. And uh, we can type the username, whatever you like. Uh, and uh, here I have the email validation. So if it's not the valid email, it will pump up and show you have to get the right email for the sign up. And uh, after sign up, it's pretty straightforward to have browse all the products we have in this website. And uh, each product is available for you to click the add cart to add the quantity into your cart and uh, it will calculate the uh, total bill for you at the checkout moment. Uh, in this page, I also perform a sidebar here to do the different category of our products. So if you click vegetables, all the vegetables only show here. If you click foods, all the foods, meats, and diary. So in the backend database, we have one column called category. So um, to corresponding with the sidebar here to do the data sorting key. And uh, we can click a couple things to add to the cart. And I click the cart, it will show how many uh, different products we have just selected. So this is four. And uh, uh, this you can do the minus and the plus for the uh, different quantities. So you can do here three, two, two. And uh, our bill amount will be corresponding with the quantity uh, multiplied with the unit cost automatically to calculate for you. Also, uh, we have performed the feed page here to create for the new products for our products. And uh, it, uh, whenever we create the new products here, it will show on the main page here uh, after that. And uh, as I said previously, if you have the different category, uh, it, will, it will classify in this four category automatically for you and uh, you can sort by it. Okay, so this is pretty much for my website and I will dive into the code part here. Okay, here is the code part here. The first I using the React Tree uh, small app to show in for the whole, whole content and the structure of my project. So this is the uh, uh, app JSX and uh, we divide it basically into three parts. Uh, one is for user management, another is for the products uh, and the carts. Also, we have a small function with a feeding page, uh, which is only for the administration team to use to add for the new products into our, into our website. So I will go through, uh, since the project is pretty big, so I will go through one cycle regarding the feeding page here to show how it works. Uh, let me show here. So the first is the feed page. Let me add, open up the feed page here. Feed page JSX, yeah. Uh, so this one is basically to showing the feed page we just saw uh, to add for the new products we have. So the first thing is that we return, uh, uh, we keep rendering this form, the add product form, which is a component we decide here. So 
this is a form which in charge of rendering for all the information customer need to uh, put in into the system. Oh no, the administrator to create the product. So what, which kind of information he need to put into the system. So he need to put the category, name, price, amount, as well as to upload the photo here and uh, click the submit. Uh, the moment he creates, uh, uh, click the submit, it will, uh, it will handle submit. So it will create a object called form data. So the form data will be append all this information here. And the form data is the, let me see, uh, the form data is the basic target we want to pump up to the feed page we just looking for. So let me go here, sorry. Yeah, so on the feed page, we pass a prop called handle add product uh, down to the add, form, uh, add product form. So um, handle add product is the prop we pass from the feed page to the add product form. And, uh, and uh, we here, we use the handle add product uh, with form data. So, um, so uh, which it helps to uh, get all the form information, the people just type into the system uh, to uh, lift up into the uh, feed page here. And then uh, you can see uh, handle add product here. Uh, uh, this use the product form uh, from the form. So right now the product from the form equals to the form data the customer just popping. And uh, based on the uh, product from the form information, uh, it calls a post request. It just sent automatically the post request using the uh, routes here called API products here to calling the uh, to calling this routes and to trigger out our backend hub. So uh, the first way is that it's going to do the uh, server JS and then uh, you can see it's called the product router here and then if we are calling in the uh, routes API and the products. So we need to go to the routes API products. So right now it's going to the routes API products. And also we already say it's a post request. We want to um, get all the information. People just key in uh, and uh, go to our database. So it will call automatically to the product control uh, the create function. So we go to the controller and to products and the create function here. So uh, based on this one, uh, you can see it's divided by two different parts. The first is, is create the file paste based on uh, the name we automatically key in with the different product um, with the project dash three as well as the original name. So this one is giving the, uh, generate the file paste, or which is a photo paste name uh, to the S3 buckets. And the S3 uploads these all informations uh, for the photo uh, we just upload. And uh, this part is to regarding all the data uh, unless the photo, all this like the name category information, say store go to the MongoDB. And uh, based on this create function, so all the information has been stored and happened to our MongoDB. So uh, each different thing we create, it will go to the MongoDB. And this is a whole loop, how it happen in the back end to uh, to do a post request and uh, to give all the information stored in the MongoDB. Then we on our front end we call 
uh, we call it information. Let me see. Uh, on our page, we have the product JSX page. And uh, it will keep rendering all the information handle select products and uh, it will keep rendering all the products information we can see the Yeah, as I mentioned, so based on the products, uh, based on the products page, it will call to the product display and call the product cards. So the product cards will show the each, each small card of the products with their name information into our, into our main page here. So that's it, the whole loop, how it gets the information from the, uh, administration create, who creates the products and uh, pumps the data back to the Mongo, MongoDB and then we call that uh, MongoDB information um, come to our front end and show in here. So thanks for your time to watching and if you have any question please let me know. Thank you.